Peace. Infinite Waters diving deep once again. Deep dive is another wonderful day. I woke up like this all magical and fly. Just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What else? What else are we doing today, deep divers? Raising the frequency, raising the vibration, Hadouken. Take all of that good ass energy I'm sending you. Look, let me say a big shout out to everyone who's joined the new Infinite Waters Patreon page for all new exclusive content that's going to help you become your greatest version. Click the link down below, deep divers, and be inspired. Okay, we're going to talk about the law of attraction. Yes. Because things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. Deep divers, this information, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to rock you out of your chair. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, why didn't anyone tell me? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Because I've been reading about the law of attraction, but they've never mentioned this. Oh, deep divers, I want all of you right now to hit that like button. If you support the real once again... Hit the like button right now if you support the real because we got a whole lot to talk about. Look, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation. You are about to be celebrating something major soon. Just say thank you. Look, deep divers, just say thank you to the cat down the road. Okay, so the law of attraction. Things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. First and foremost, deep divers, a lot of you have seen me. Do you remember when I had the beautiful afro in my backyard? In my backyard, and I'm still here? And the reason why is because I'm living my life knowing these secrets about the law of attraction. But it's not what you think. Because a lot of people think that how the law of attraction works is that you just think about what you want then it appears. Well, how come it's not here then for you? Ah, oh, exactly. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So wonderful deep divers, let's talk about the law of attraction. Things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. First and foremost, deep divers, I know you've heard about the law of attraction. You probably read books on the law of attraction. But what you want to manifest is still not here, is it? No, it's not, Deep Diver. So what's going wrong? Well, you see, I was scratching my head thinking, how come I'm not manifesting? How come the law of attraction is not working for me? Then I realized that actually, they didn't tell me this about the law of attraction. That actually, the law of attraction is one of the seven hermetic principles going back to the Emerald Tablets. And it's actually the law of correspondence. Because they knew as above, so below. And as within, so without. Basically, our internal condition will give us the exact same outer reality. It will match. Whatever we're feeling on the inside will become our outer reality. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. That's amazing, right? So, the basics of the law of attraction is that, okay, your mind is so powerful. Because what you think is what you become, right? That's like the basics of the law of attraction. What you think is what you become. It's all a mindset. And therefore, remind yourself, every thought you have is a potential reality waiting to happen. So thoughts are things. And that's the reason why they always say positive thoughts bring you a positive life. Negative thoughts bring you a negative life. Okay, you know this probably, right? Deep divers, you know this. I'm sure you know this, okay? But let's talk about things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. What if I told you, deep divers, you don't attract what you want? Huh? No. It doesn't matter what you want in life. Even if you pray for it, 
even if you really, 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 really want it, you probably won't get it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. You've been hoodwinked, duped, lied to, deep divers. Let me talk to you, right? <laughs> because you see, how the law of attraction really works is that we never attract what we want. We always attract who we are. And therefore, to attract your desires, you must become, you must become a true vibrational match to your desires. But that's not up to you. That's up to your core frequency. Now, you probably haven't heard about your core frequency, have you, deep divers? Have you, right? So your core frequency is got everything to do with what you're attracting in your life. You see, your core frequency is what I call your unique signature. Law of attraction, things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. What you attract in this lifetime is based on your unique signature. So even if you want to be the best gymnast, you want to be the best gymnast in the world. You want to be the best tennis player in the world. You want to be the best scientist in the world. You want to be the best mathematician in the world. If that's not linked to your unique signature, it's not going to happen for you. It doesn't matter how much you try, how much effort you put in, it's not going to happen for you. You can't be the greatest pianist in the world. You know why? Because that's not what was written for you. Okay, deep divers, you see, there's a reason why they say it was written in the stars, because the Arabic word maktub means, means it was written. And I've always known that I'm here to help other people become their greatest version. How can I manifest this? First and foremost, I've got to tune in to my core frequency. You see, what you attract is based on you going within and finding out what it is you are here to do. Because a lot of people say, I want this. But that's not even a, that's not even in alignment with their core frequency. So what you attract, and this is the real secret of the law of attraction, is always going to be in alignment with your core frequency. Right? You can only attract what is in alignment with your true core frequency. And that's the reason why, deep divers, you got to know thyself. You got to tap in and say, okay, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who are you, deep divers? You got to ask yourself, who am I? What is my core frequency? During a meditation, Close your eyes and say, okay, what makes my soul most happy? What do I feel that's right? How right does this feel when I'm doing it? How much more of me do I feel when I'm doing it? Because you see, you will only, you will only ever attract what is in alignment to your true core frequency. I knew when I was in my backyard many years ago with a beautiful afro that actually, if I stay in this place, the universe will bring me what is truly meant for me. And this is what the law of attraction is all about. It's all about you realizing the universe will always bring you what is truly meant for you. Nothing more, nothing less. Once again, source energy, Gaia, God, the universe will only bring you what is truly meant for you, nothing more, nothing less. And that's the reason why it's not about what you want. It's about connecting back to who you are. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And you will attract everything that was meant for you. Not a leaf falls from a tree without the universe's permission. Everything is happening in divine order. And when we talk about the law of attraction, a lot of people talk about it in this modern day age that, hey, all you got to do is close your eyes 
and then it's going to appear, it's going to be in front of you, all you got to do is just say a few mantras and affirmations and then you're going to have the life you want, no, because you see, we're not only living now, we've been living since the dawn of creation in different forms, so when you remind yourself everything you're attracting right now in this lifetime is also based on is also based on what you were doing in previous incarnations. This is not the only time you've been alive, deep divers. It's not the only time I've been alive. I'm a mortal. You're going to keep coming back to earth. And therefore, every new incarnation, we become wiser or we've got new lessons to learn. But you see, what we're attracting right now is not only based on what we're doing right now, it's based on what we've been doing in previous incarnations. And that's the reason why Marcus Aurelius said, what we do now echoes on into eternity. And this has everything to do with the law of attraction, things they're not telling you. And that's the reason why to master the law of attraction, plant the seed today. Because your mind is a garden. And if you plant the seed today, your future self will thank you. And when I realized that actually the day I plant the seed is not the same day I eat the fruit, I started to learn the secrets of the law of attraction. That you see, a lot of people have been tricked into thinking that, hey, it's going to happen overnight. Hey, it's going to happen even next month or next year. No, to truly attract what's meant for you, you have to grow into it. You have to remind yourself there is no shortcut. It's a marathon. Every single day, you have to place yourself in the right environment that nurtures your soul. You have to trust the timing of your life. You have to realize that actually everything will begin to align for you. When you realize it's not about wanting a life that's not meant for you. It's about letting go and realizing the universe has already made the perfect life for you. It knows what you want more than you know what you want. <laughs> Many times we think we know what we want and a lot of people use the law of attraction to get what they think they want but it's not what they really want. The law of attraction, deep divers, things, they're not telling you about the law of attraction. Many people don't realize that the law of attraction is not about what you wish for. A lot of people say, I wish, 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 right? <laughs> It's about realizing you have free will. Let me step into action. Let's go. Let me start doing something today. Because a lot of people talk. A lot of people tell you their plans and the secret of the law of attraction is to show them the results. And you have to show yourself the results. You have to remind yourself work requires action. Every single day, ask yourself, am I acting? Because when we talk about the vision board people have, they got big dreams. And vision boards are very powerful. You can even say an affirmation while you're looking at it. This year, your bank account, this year, your bank account will increase beyond what you can spend. Doesn't that sound good, deep divers? Doesn't that sound good? It sounds fantastic, right? But don't be stuck on a vision board. Things they don't tell you. Things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. It's not about just a vision board. It's about learning to make mistakes. It's about learning to fail. This is how to master the law of attraction. If at first you don't succeed, deep divers, 
you can dust it off and try again. And a lot of people don't realize that even if it's in alignment, even if it's in alignment with your true calling and core frequency, it doesn't mean that it's just going to manifest overnight. There are going to be trials and tribulations. What if I told you everything that's meant for you lies on the other side of what you're afraid of? I said everything that you, everything that's meant for you lies on the other side of what you're most afraid of. So what they don't tell you about the law of attraction is that you have to face your greatest fear to receive your greatest manifestation. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You have to face your greatest fear, deep divers, to receive your greatest manifestation. Along my early journey, I'm like, okay, I'm in front of the camera. I'm looking a little bit shaky, baby. I'm feeling a little bit shaky, baby. However, however, I knew that I had an important message to share with the whole world and the universe. And I had to face my fear. And now I'm reaping the benefits. When we talk about the law of attraction, you must remind yourself it's a marathon, not a short sprint. And you must remind yourself to trust the timing of your life. Because great things take time. The more you can focus on yourself, the more you can receive what's truly meant for you. Let me repeat that. The more you can focus on yourself, and it's hard to do deep divers in this busy world, the more you can focus on yourself is the more you can receive what is truly meant for you. The people who are manifesting their best life are the ones who have the focus, the self-discipline. They can tune in and not just tune out. Because once again, once you take care of the inner feelings, the outer reality will now match that. When you feel good on the inside, you'll have a marvelous life on the outside. And it's not always peaches and cream. Because even when you feel terrible inside, you can change the energy around. You can become an alchemist. Regardless of what's happening out there, you can choose to feel good in here. And this is how you can actually attract what's truly meant for you. The law of attraction, deep divers. Look, things they're not telling you about the law of attraction. Now, this is huge. A lot of people out there they compare themselves to other people. And this is the reason why a lot of people never manifest what's truly meant for them. They never manifest what they truly desire. Because you see, what they're not telling you about the law of attraction is that the only one you want to be in competition with is who you were yesterday. I'm in a league of my own. I'm not looking here. I'm not looking there. I'm looking right here. You got to focus on yourself. And that's the reason why when you focus on yourself, deep divers, you know what happens? When you want to win, when you want to succeed, you know what happens? You want other people to succeed and win. Because once again, you're focusing on yourself. But if you are comparing yourself to other people, you don't want her to win. You don't want him to win. And what happens? You now block your blessings. What I'm telling you, deep divers, what they're not telling you about the law of attraction and how it really works is that what you wish for other people is actually what you wish for yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And the people who manifest greatness in this life, they wish other people well. They're happy for other people's success. You know why? Because it doesn't take away from theirs. But if you are a jealous, envious hater, 
Little do you know that actually that's what you want for yourself. If you don't want to see her win or him win, you don't want to see yourself win. So therefore, to master the law of attraction, you must wish everyone well. You must wish people what you wish for yourself. Let me repeat that. You must wish people what you wish for yourself. Now, let me just read you something by... Napoleon Hill, Think Rich and Grow Rich. The starting point, the starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire brings, weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat, right? That's something to keep in mind. Desire. Do you have a burning desire? How hungry are you? Time and time, time and time again, we see that it's not about how skilled you are. It's about how much desire you have and that will bring you what you truly want, deep divers. So, trust the universe today, deep divers. Law of attraction is about realizing it was written in the stars. The universe won't give you what you want. But the universe will always give you what is truly meant for you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Deep divers, let's breathe. <sniffs> Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I want all of you right now. To hit the like button if you support the real, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Once again, hit that like button right now if you support the real, and go and check out the number one best-selling book, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book, The Bible of Becoming Your Greatest Version, and the latest new book, The Book of 1111 Infinite Quotes by Ralph Smart at ralphsmart.com slash the book, The Secret Recipe to Becoming Your Greatest Version, and go and get the good-ass Prana shirts, deep divers, all new designs for men, women, children, even cats down the road at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America, and if you're a sexy-ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart, you want to model the clothing, well, go and buy some, and if you want a one-to-one -one consultation with me so I can help you become your greatest version, book it at ralphsmart.com slash sessions deep divers we never receive what we want but the universe will always give us what is truly meant for us always remind yourself of this when you think about the law of attraction one love peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you once again deep divers make sure you hit that like button right now if you support the real. Once again, hit that like button right now if you support the real. Leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know how this video inspired you. One love. Peace.